good everybody it's your girl jacayla a and i'm back with another video today we got a slight haul from the nail supply this is not everything that i picked up but just a few items out of what i picked up those sanding bands were like 12 dollars for that big old bag that free spray helps dry bling glue or nail glue it's like five bucks i got some not polished colors and some chisel colors i noticed that this hot pink from not polished was spilling so I'm just trying to clean it up I was trying to really dust all of it off of the edge that was just kind of like spilling out into the bag and then carefully get rid of the bag and really just trying to make sure that I get the top on it right and it seems like the um container itself something with the screw on top it like skips around so I'm, I'm just gonna try to keep it facing up and hopefully it doesn't spill more. I got these brushes on a recommendation from Bomb Ass Nails here on YouTube. She gets these off of eBay. And here I am just opening them and trying to break them in. I did kind of flick the starch out of them off camera. You didn't really see me do that. But you know they come really hard and you want to just rub all that starch off you can. So I did that. I don't think I did it good enough because eventually they start clumping up. But I think I still had that starch product in them. And here I am just using monomer and just rubbing the monomer in the dish all around. Trying to soak them real, real good. Get them real saturated. And then wiping them off on the napkin or these little oil paper towels I use. And yeah, I'm just trying to really get all of the product that is existing in them out of them. Some people use acetone, then monomer. Some people use monomer. And then they let them sit and dry with a little bit of cuticle oil. It's all type of videos on here on how to break in brushes. I just take the monomer out. If I really feel like it's just product in it and I cannot get it out, I'll do a little bit of acetone and then follow up with the monomer. And that would have probably been my better bet because it was quite a bit of, you know, that starchy product in it to help it stay firm and pinched and keep its shape. It was quite a bit of that in there and I was just really trying to get it out. But I did use those um, brushes today with this video. So my first color is Chisel. I think this is Neon 3. I really, really like this. Um, the one color that I have from this brand It's a milky white glow color and it glows um, purple but it shows up as like a milky white and it glows lavender. So I said, you know, while I'm at the nail supply store and I really want to revamp my acrylic collection, let me try some, some more chisel because the one color I got, I like. And look at how smooth that went on. I went with another bead right towards the middle slash end, but that really could have been like one bead perfection. So silky, so smooth. Color so bomb and appropriate for the season. It might be coming up red. It's definitely a true hot pink in real life. It is a true hot pink in real life. This color took me down. Took me right on down. I love this highlighter neon. Is it green? Is it yellow type of color in general? But of course we want to get colorful colors going into nicer weather but i really just love this color in general i think it's really pretty and i think this formula is really nice i can see myself buying at least the whole neon collection from this um company or you know this is neon um one by the way i think and then the other one was three so i don't know how many they have but they have more if they have one and three so i can see myself buying the rest they were both really pretty and really easy to work with. Now, not polish. Love not polish. I only have one or two not polish um, acrylics besides these three I just bought. And I love those too. They perform beautifully. So I said, let me get a few more. 
This lime is perfect. It is true lime. Truly lime. I think that was M12. Child, I'm not doing a good job of showing y'all, but of telling y'all, but I did show. This is M10. M10 and Neon 3 from Chisel are identical. You do not need both. You do not need both. I repeat, you do not need both. These two, once I swatched this one, I realized that they are literally the same color. If they're not literally the same color, they're close enough to the point that it's pointless to have both. And here's the comparison. They're literally the same color. They literally both perform beautifully. You can go either way and still win in the end. And this is M11, but this is the one that took my breath away. This is the one I'll be doing a mini tutorial on my practice hand with. And it was just so beautiful to me. Once I swatched that first little bead, I said, oh, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. So I did use that one today. I love the not polished colors. That's why when I get to 500 subbies, I will be doing a not polished giveaway. I think they have a very quality product and a really great brand. And I'm looking to restock. I'm sorry, not restock, but revamp my collection with all not polished colors. Like, I want to buy the whole collection. So here I am just showing y'all the swatches. Letting y'all know I'm going to use the orange. And here I am with my practice hand from Red Iguana. I have the poseable hand. It is sitting on the stand that they sell at Red Iguana. I use these um, very long tips for my practice hand. I do not use them on clients. I use different tips on clients. But I really want some longer ones because you see how they kind of um, go into a stiletto. I think I want some longer ones that stay square or some longer stiletto nails. Because when I cut them, even though I keep them fairly long, when I cut them, they kind of take on a coffin shape. So I think I would like them to stay a little bit more square. So I'm on the hunt for some long, super, super long square nails for my practice hand. For future tutorials, I just think I would like that shape better. But here I am cutting my desired length. After finding my sizes, some of the sizes might be a little bit too small because some were a little bit too big. So I had to find a sweet spot in the middle. But yeah, I have a glitter acrylic number 12 AB collection from Nail Supply Glamour. That chisel neon um, chisel glow club color is the one I was talking about earlier that reflects purple. And then I had Glamorous New from Valentino and some stars I got from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I stay in there and getting big chunky sequins and glitters all the time. So I'm using one of the brushes that I showed earlier. And I don't know if it's a 12 or the 14 because I had a 12 and a 14. And I just know I wanted to do some type of marbling effect with the glitter. So when I'm doing this, there is no rhyme or reason. There is no rhyme or reason or plan. I don't know what I'm really doing. And when I'm when I'm doing these um tutorials or yeah, these tutorials on a practice hand in general, I don't know what I'm gonna do, y'all. I do not know what I'm gonna do. I just come on here, I pick out the color, I look behind me at all the stuff that I got, I pick out the rest of the stuff to just create a freestyle look and it comes together however it comes together but you'll see in the end i was really happy with how everything performed and i was really happy with the final product
I really love this orange. It is so smooth and perfect. If you wanted to buy not polish this whole collection, like how acrylic brands always feature, you know, their whole collection, not polish doesn't do that. I went on there inquiring about how much it will cost to just buy their whole collection. And you have to buy it in like small groupings. There's no button, or at least at the time when I was looking, which was recently, there's no button that just says entire collection or a whole collection where you can buy every color that they offer. They have smaller grouping collections, or you can go one by one and add every single color to your cart, and you can buy it like that, which I feel like is kind of a hassle, and I really wish that they just sold the whole collection because I would be very interested to purchase it just outright. This glitter is number 12 from Nail Supply Glamour. It is a part of the AB Collection glitters. They sell out all the time. Once they restock the, that glitter collection, they sell right out. And I love, love, love the whole collection. I have only three of the AB glitters from Nail Supply Glamour. But I really want all of them, if we be honest. And I really love these stars. I thought they were going to be kind of random. But in the end, I think they worked out. They were real cute. Recently, I bought the big container of Speed Clear from Young Nails. So that's what I'm using to cap here. I was using Mia Secret and it does get the job done. But now that I'm more experienced with nails, I mean, I'm still fairly new. But I'm more experienced than when I first, first started. And I used to hate a fast drying acrylic. I used to hate a too fast drying acrylic. And I still kind of do hate a too fast drying acrylic. But now that slow, slow drying, you can work with it for days. Acrylic just does not do it for me. I really love a faster drying acrylic. It just makes the whole process move a lot faster. I know by the time I'm done capping this first nail, once I get to the fourth nail, really once I get to the third nail, this first nail is going to be completely dry. So I do love those um speed acrylics that they offer from young nails i would recommend if you're having a problem with your clear or really any of your acrylics drying too slow i really love that
just want to make sure that the nails are dry so i'm tapping them and i do pull the nail back a little bit because i do not want to damage my practice hand i want to keep it cute for videos they're not necessarily cheap and these realistic practice hands just look better in videos so i'm going to keep the integrity of it also the nails that i put in to the practice hand like i said earlier they were just a little bit on the small side so they're kind of like wobbling out as i'm filing but i'm just trying to keep it as sturdy as i can i'm trying to get underneath the nail and then i'm trying to get that 90 degree angle so that i get that crisp line but i also want to get underneath because these straight nails can easily be filed underneath so all those perfections as you can see here you can just get right underneath and get those I went in with my cross cut diamond bit as I always do. It's the same finishing bit I use on clients, but I saw in a video that somebody uses a sanding band instead of a buffer over their nails as a real finisher. Like if you're a person that use a buffer, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, and you wanna just get those scratches off the surface of the nail. I don't know why I never thought to finish the nails with a sanding band but i think i'm gonna add that as a part of my service instead of worrying about buffers i think i'm just gonna go ahead and use the sanding band because it's basically the same thing but faster in a different way and you could buff out all those scratches from your finishing bit and yeah i just i thought that was really smart so i did that today here i am using top coat and then here i am wipe it off top coat because i realized that i wanted to do some bling so i just got these little square um i got these little napkins that i cut into squares just use a little alcohol and then try to just dry that off but like i said that tip is um a little bit too small so it fell out but yeah i put it right on back in that's the beauty of a practice hand put it right back in and keep it going so i am going to be doing some bling on that solid orange nail i am going to be using my zule nail adhesive as always i have went from the bottle with the wand brush to the squeeze tube um zule nail bling adhesive and i do love the squeeze tube and now i've graduated to the cluster gel i do think the cluster gel might be my favorite because it's just so thick and it doesn't run around but the squeeze tube is very efficient as well and it's just really easy to do the design of the squeeze tube is really easy to do so it's between the squeeze tube and the cluster gel for me but i love them all like she did that whatever she did my clients come back all stone still on all stone still on and it really takes a lot for them to fall off so 10 out of 10 would recommend i'm just putting big pieces in um somewhat of a straight line trying to just make it asymmetrical but not completely cover all of the orange i got my flashy just so that it stays in place i got that off of amazon in a three pack it's like 13 for three of them so that was a great deal 
And then I eventually went on to put on the top coat on the rest of the nails and then did a real cure. I just wanted to cure for the moment so that they could stay, the bleed could stay in the position that I had it in. And then I did a real cure after the top coat went on all the nails. All right, y'all, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will be doing a giveaway of 500 subscribers. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.